Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 2. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we are searching around a doll master's house in order to find some uh, doll parts. Because that's what you do with your time off. And um, so far we found the arms. And I'm not sure whether or not I need to find the head and some eyes. Or if it's just restricted to the head because there was a moment where it was all like eyes as well from the doll maker. So I'm like, um, do I need to grab those two? Because, you know, it'd be nice to know. Now I'm pretty much just want wandering around the place looking for the, um, to store. I'm just kind of hoping that I stumble upon where it is I need to go. There was a storage room. Or it could just be in here. Somewhere. Child? Are you present? I'm like right on top of them, aren't I? Yes, I was. Kill me. Something that looks like a human head is on the ground where the girl was standing. Yep. Akane has become a remaining. To comfort her, I made a doll that looks like a zombie. Oh, that's what you did. Okay. She has been emotionless since the day of the ritual. I'll make the doll look exactly like Asami, so that when they are together, no one will be able to tell them apart. Akane never leaves Asami's side for even a second, always whispering things to her. I don't know what she says, but at least she seems to be slowly returning to her former self. If we didn't have this ritual, Asami wouldn't have become a butterfly, and Akane wouldn't have lost her spirit. Sounds like a terrible trade-off. Uh, then again, I guess they are trying to, like, I don't know so as more people don't die if that makes any sense but I'm sure it does this is someone uh, the whole gates of hell thing I've been blown open so ah It's weird when thinking about, hey, would you sacrifice these two innocent individuals if it would mean saving your entire village? Like, mm -hmm. uh, uh. hi. This is the part where I gotta return the body bits. If it is, I need to remember where the doll room is. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm an idiot who went around in circles in the wrong direction. There's it's circular buildings. Okay, so... Through this door, to my right. And then, first door I come across. Not sure if that was like me instinctually trying to avoid continuing the plot or me instinctually just not knowing where the hell to go. Little column A, little column B. Doll is on display, missing head and arms. If it were whole, it and the doll next to it would probably be twins. I do have to find the eyes. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of surprised I haven't run into the oh girl ghosts again. Hmm. 
I'm kind of assuming that the one that remained between the two of them... That's not the way I'm meant to go. But one of them has the spirit of... There's a spirit inside the doll. And the other one was a remaining. Why not? Check it out. Oh, hello. Uh huh. Oh, that's the the folklorist, isn't it? I haven't read this one yet. Ran away, people found her. I'm wondering if the remaining has to be present for the ritual, because, um... Yeah, that, that looks like some bad shit happened when, when the ritual failed. Cool beans. Uh, yeah. Okay. Excuse me while I try to find a pair of eyes. Now kind of had to... Yep. Thought so. I was about to say, I kind of have to assume that they're in the other part of the Kiryu house that I was already able to access. Is this the right way? This is the folklorist's room. I'd be through that door. Oh, come on. Or downstairs. Try downstairs first. Nothing like a little game of hot and cold. This way? Oh, you little scamp. Left arm. You don't need a substitute for me. I am part of Akane now. I am one with Akane. Kill it. Kill that stupid doll. Ah. That's not alarming in the slightest. I don't know what you're talking about. Let us do that thing where we purposely put together a doll and then probably have to kill it. Also keep on swatting out a fly that is insistently buzzing around me, so I must I must apologize if I accidentally hit my microphone. Yep. This is sure to go well. Put the doll, the doll together, but nothing happened. Notes said that putting the doll together should make it work, but... Oh! Two buttons carved in the family crest on the button-like structure... box-like structure behind the doll. Try pressing them, but nothing happens. That says it should make it work. Only had the design plans or something. <sighs> Excuse me while I go back to the doll maker's room then.
At least that's my first plan. Something, something, kill me. Something, something, dark side. Something, something. Slap myself for making a goddamn Family Guy joke. Alright. Dollmaker's room. The sealed room. All the way down the heck here. So, in through this door. Hello, Goyles. All mirrors. Picture of a crimson butterfly? What? Beautiful folding screen standing beyond the chest of drawers. Yeah, butterfly. Crimson type. Hey! Balls. Okay. How far am I away? Hang on, Louie. This is fine. Right. Are there some design plans in here, you creepy bastard? There's something in here because, um... Yeah. Am I supposed to be looking at the doll? Parts of a smashed, half-finished doll lying on the table. The eyes seem like they're they're looking this way. I gotta take the eyes, don't I? Kind of my assumption, anyways. What that shows of the photo? Looks like twins facing each other. Ah. Uh, appears burnt. Open the doll's eyes and give the shrine maiden a soul. Hmm. When the two shrine maidens face each other, the bridge through the underground opens up. I've used one of these wind-up clocks imported from the west for the twin shrine maiden mechanism. Kiryu shrine maidens. Move right doll to 3 o'clock and left doll to 9 o'clock. Right button, one point, uh, I'm sure that'll make sense when I get there. When the Shrine Maidens face, the earth bridge that connects the houses will be passable. Tachibana, the doll. Yeah. Right, they gotta be facing each other. They don't gonna be all 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. The doll's soul is needed to make the mechanism work. I could create the other parts again, but I could never duplicate that soul. I can't let that hellish creature get its hands on the soul. The soul is the key. I'll have to keep it safe with me. Is there a reason you, you looked over here, sir? Yep. Hmm. I, mean, I was trying to look at what I assume to be the eyes. But okay. Out of here! Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going that way then. Let's uh let's go this way. A lovely, lovely save point. Mm-mm. I love them save points. Yay, save point. There we go. Nothing to it. Alright. Okay. So I guess we're going back to the doll room again. Try this other way first. 
Or rather, let's go this other way to the doll room. This away. And this way? Yes. Well, at the least we know that this place, you know, it's got a whole long ish standing tradition of sacrificing twins, but man, the amount of twins that come through this place then. are even born in this place. Alright, so how... Does one turn them? Wait. Wrong thing. Uh, wrong memo. Safe. Alright. Right down to three o'clock, left to nine. Right doll one point five hours forward, left all one point five hours back. That's quite literally the same information but presented differently. Oh, wait. Okay, is there a mechanism? Is there a special purpose? Wait. Here's this one. Atlas dolls, female without a single adult. Or male, rather. As a child, I kind of assume that these family crests were going to be like the thing we need to turn. Also, I'm just realizing just how much the lower I am of my basic camera stuff. All right. I'm kind of assuming now that I have to find the ghost of the doll maker. Which I kind of assume is going to be in the front of the Kiryu house. Yay! Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, never tried this way. Okay, never mind. I did try that way. It was a dead end. As it was. I'm approaching that point of what am I doing? This is the connecting corridor bridge place. Yes? See, this is my problem. Once I figured out, oh yeah, this is totally the way I need to go. And it's not the way I need to go. And what will happen? I'll continue going that way. In fairness, this will get me there. Wonder. Nope. Alright. Won't lie, I was really wondering and curious whether or not it was going to have the have them fall down again. Would have been a little bit hilarious. Now, you know, as much as the ambient sound is kind of creepy, even worse when it's just completely quiet, save for the squeaking of the house.
I don't think that doll was there before. Oh, hi. I wouldn't say that necessarily, old man, but that's mostly because, you know, I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, you have an attack? Oh no, you have an attack. I hate it. Okay, so it's a good old case of gotta juke him. Oh, hello? Ah! What? Okay, if I keep on doing this, then I'll interrupt his. His doll attack. I need to find him before the dolls. Where are you, you creepy old bastard? Oh, there you are. Damn it. Creepy. Seriously, where are you? Oh, hi, there you were. Yep. Still not doing that much damage to me. Oh, come on. Oh. Dang it. Oh, you're still controlling him. That's lovely. Thank you. Stop that, please. Oh, I think it's as long as I see him. Then he can't control the dolls? Ah, nah, not again. So this is where uh, they got the inspiration for that one boss in Bloodborne. Oh goody. That's not creepy in the slightest. First I have to kill the doll by hanging it. Then I must throw it into the blank. It knows this and is controlling Akane trying to kill me. I have to throw it in even if seeing the blank blinds me. My daughter must die again and Akane must relive the pain of losing her sister. If we didn't have this ritual, no one would have to feel that kind of pain. At the same time, sir, you probably should not have, you know... I don't know... Made an exact likeness of your daughter? Bob's power-up lenses allows you to equip up to three power-up lenses in, at one time. Once this power-up lens is equipped, oh, once these power-up lenses are equipped, you can swap them in the viewfinder mode with the L1 button. Also, spirit orb. God, that fight kind of sucked.
Like, as long as I kept the pressure on him, it wasn't that bad, but at the same time, it was very much a, um... Very much a situation where it was like, oh hey, BT dubs. Maybe just suck less. That made no sense. What I meant was that, um, I'm trying to think of how the hell to say it. So, C, blast stunned. Okay. But in order to get an attack off on him for a, a fatal frame, you pretty much need to wait until one of the dolls comes and attacks you. Which is all right, but goddamn, if you're trying to keep an eye on him, it's kind of hard to keep an eye on the dolls, too. Did I finally go the right direction for once? Yes and no? I'm sure this will be fine. This is fine. It's fine. Nothing creepy is going to happen once I pop the eyes right into the doll and be all like, hey. Insert the glass eyes into the doll. You hear the sound coming from the box behind the doll. Seems to be working now. So... Oh... You heard the sound coming from large box. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I should have seen that happening. I don't kill, you're trying to kill. Trust me, there is a difference here. Second one out here somewhere? Or is there just the one? Stop that. Um Oh hi. Nope, nope, they are both existent. Okay, cool, great, fantastic, superb. pretty sure only one of them is actually the doll. Hello, creepy children. Okay, good to know. That does hurt, hurt them both. It's just... You know... Gotta make sure I got them both in sights. And I'm not gonna die to them. Blowing Crystal is lying where the doll was standing. Yay. Now the question is, should I run back to a save point first, or just dive right in? Why Pretty simple message. Don't kill. Uh, nearest save point was all the way back here. Got it. I'll, d I'll, I'll use it. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. I'll take it. Why? Because cowardice. Yes. 
I mean, you gotta keep in mind, too, that I gotta kind of keep enough of my sanity here in order to cover two of these games. Just saying. Like, I won't, again, I won't lie. This game, this game has far less impact as the first one. If only A, it's a sequel, B, because, you know, it's a lot, uh, more exploration-y than the first one, too. But, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I am going to go down into the creepy hole of the ground and probably get myself killed. Yay. So, thank you, everyone, so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And, as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.